Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your cardio core Tabata workout. This is an all body weight cardio workout where we're working in Tabata intervals. So 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest in four minute rounds. We'll alternate between two exercises and of course I'm gonna give you lots of different options to work to your fitness level. Are you ready? Let's do it. Go ahead and start moving your body. We are going to get a quick dynamic warm up where we're just getting the blood flowing, muscles warm, you can march, you can roll those shoulders, but we're gonna keep this warm up short because we are gonna keep this workout short. I guarantee you, you're gonna leave feeling energized, maybe a little bit tired, but also energized and feeling better than when you started, or at least I hope you do. Let's go ahead and take those arms one more time to the back because we're not adding any weight or any external load. And because we're keeping the majority of this standing, we can keep this warm up a little shorter than normal. But of course, if you need more of a warm up, please get it on your own. Step it out right here. You can always add more warm up and cool down. I usually try to make sure we're getting a little bit of both, but keeping it short so we can get you in and out. I know for a lot of us, we're here because we are short on time. That's most of us, right? We want something short but effective and you're gonna get it today. Let's touch it down right here. Just reach and reach. So within this workout today, Tabata rounds. I love Tabata because you can do anything for 20 seconds, right? Let's go flat back down and then round it up. So these Tabata intervals move really fast. 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest in four minute rounds. We're gonna have two exercises. Let's hold this here, roll those shoulders, that we alternate between the two. So pretty basic, keeping it simple. Roll through those hips, a little squat and reach. Roll through. So two exercises only. One of them, they're both gonna be cardio, they're both gonna be core. One of them is gonna feel a little more of the higher intensity cardio and one I think will feel a little more core based, but really I'm hoping you're getting it all. I will give you both low impact and high impact ways to do both. Let's just reach here. So you do you. You're gonna hear me say that throughout the workout. This is your workout. You do you, be where you are today. Hands behind your head. Let's get a little hinge. Let's bring it up right here. So. If you need to keep it all low impact, totally fine. You're still gonna get your heart rate up. You're still gonna get those muscles warm. I know it. So do what is best for you. Let's tap and reach across. If you wanna take one of them higher impact or higher intensity, find what works for you. Be where you are today. It's your workout, all right? What I always say about Tabata, it moves fast, but it moves fast. So that's why we're only going two exercises and alternating between the two. A few things are gonna have a right side, left side. And at the end of the day, the main thing we want, we, were sh we are showing up and we are moving our bodies, right? That's, that is my motto, show up and keep moving. So if you showed up today, you're successful. I want you to move, but move in a way that's good for you. Stay safe, keep moving. As long as you're moving, that's the name of the game. But we are gonna aim to get the core working with everything that we do today. And when we get to those last two rounds, you will have the option to take a few things on the mat to get a little more core. If you wanna keep them standing, I'm gonna give you a standing option as well. So if the standing is where you need to be today, stick with it. All right, team, so 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest in four minute rounds. We've got about a minute in between where we'll grab some water and you can keep your feet moving. Your first two moves, we're gonna go cross jacks. So the higher impact version is here to here. Here you can cross your feet and your arms or one or the other. If you wanna keep it low impact, I want you to think of it as just a step touch, right? Either one works. Then we've got a right side, left side with a twist knee. So twist, 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 knee. We're gonna go all on the same side. Then our next round will go all on the same side. So two on the right, two on the left. Are we ready? Cross jacks, 20 seconds, cross. And notice with these cross jacks, I'm not going super fast. And again, I don't want you to feel like you have to go with the higher impact version. You do you, up to you. Just by having those arms up and crossing, we're gonna get the core working three, two, one. All right, now watch me guys. Twist, 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 right knee. Twist left, twist right, twist left, right knee. Low impact or high, all on one side. Here we go. 
So try to get a rhythm of it. And don't worry, you don't have to twist too much. If you just want little taps, do, 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 knee. If you can twist a little more and even power it up. Hup. Core and relax. All right, back to our cross jacks again. You can cross just your arms, you can cross arms and feet. You can step touch or you can jump it. Let's do it. So a little different than our average jumping jack, right? Tap, tap. You can also always just do a regular jumping jack if that's better for you. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, team, now we are back other side. So twist right, twist left, twist right, left knee, right, done, done, done. Are you with me? Here we go. Twist, 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 knee, hup, hup, hup. Do not overthink it. So please, if you just wanna do the knees, maybe you just wanna go here, you're still gonna get that core, you're still gonna get that rotational movement. So don't overthink it. Trust me, I know I did a few times when I was coming up with this. Last one. Whew. All right, team, halfway through. That's about a run. We got our cross jacks. We got right side knee. We got our cross jacks, left side knee. Then we're done. Here we go. Cross them. Arms over and under. And again, little tap works too. You can be like me. I've done about half and half. Really feeling my legs from yesterday's strength workout. But I'm going to keep my intensity up. Three, two, one. Woo! I thought something was off there. All right, team, so left, right, left, right knee, or whatever version of that works for you. Last time on the right, here we go. Twist, 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 knee. And you can power it up if you want a little extra. Again, remember with these cardio intervals, our goal is not to be at our highest heart rate the entire time. We want the intervals, we want the zones. So you figure out what that is for you and breathe. Last time with those cross jacks, then we are done with them. Let's get it done in five seconds. Go hard for only 20. Here we go. You can also do like me if you wanna get a little more of that plie squat or just keep it a little higher or here. If you want a little extra legs, there's a good burn. Yes, three, two, one. Feeling my arms too. All right, team, last time, other side. Then we get a longer breather. Right, left, right, left knee. Here we go. Power. This is it. You have a full minute to breathe after this. It'll go fast. So go for it. Last 10 seconds. Breathe. Yes. Three, two, one. Catch your breath, tap it out. Ooh. Shake up those arms, right? We have actually quite a bit of upper body with that as well. Let's grab some water. All right, team. Cheers, y'all. Feel that? I know I do. We're in those heart rate zones. Again, we want the highs and the lows. We don't wanna be as high as we can at the whole time. I know we think, oh, that's the most effective, but listen. We want those zones. Join me back here. Let's learn our next two moves. All right, you can keep your feet moving, little march, whatever you need. All right, in and out feet, so you know this. Out, out, in, in. So a little quick feet agility drill. I'm gonna keep it here the whole time. If you want, as we go on to do more of that quick squat jump, you can. But then we're gonna take it side knee. So again, right side, left side. We're gonna set up here. We're gonna pull that side knee in. If you need a little balance, you just grab here. If you want to add a jump to it, you can. So many options. Then out, out, in, in, left side. Out, out, in, in, right, and then left. All right, we got 20 seconds, eight times through. Let's get it done. Here we go. Out, out, in, in. And with this, you can march it. You can just do little steps, or you can run it. Imagine that you're running through tires. You can even bring those knees up. We're getting agility, we're getting mobility, and we're getting heart rate up, right? Stabilizing your core, relax. All right, now let's isolate those obliques. So arm out or balance if you need it. Stationary leg has a slight bend. Pull that side knee in. Here we go. You can keep it slow, 
right here, or you can power it up. Whatever you need. I like to have this hand out here just to keep my core engaged and those shoulders working. But if you want to take them both, you can do that too. Let's get that oblique. Pull them in. Three, two, one. And relax. All right, we're back to that out, out, in, in. You can keep your step. You can take it a little quicker. You can take it a little lower. Up to you. Here we go. Out, out, in, in. I like to pump my arms with it. You stay low in that little athletic stance. But again, maybe for you, kind of like that V step, right? Quick. Three, two, one. All right, team. Woo! Other side. Arm out. This one here, we're going to pull it in. You don't have to actually get elbow to knee, but do the best you can. Wrap that core. Here we go. Yes, right through here. Woo! We keep this from falling off. Here we go. Again, if you want to have both hands, if you want to add a little jump to it, up to you. Three, two, one. Halfway through that Tabata. I told you they go fast, right? All right, team, we're back to that out, out, in, in. If you want, you can do little quick jumps or you can keep the run. Here we go. And if you can, Notice I'm trying to switch. Right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. That's keeping my brain working. That's keeping my feet having to switch, right? So brain work as well as agility work. You do you. Three, two, one. All right, right side, last time. Let's really aim to get that side knee, get that core working in three, two, one. Power up. So many ways to increase your intensity. Yes, you could add a jump, but you could also increase your speed. You could also go here, two hands, up to you. Three, two, one. Ooh, I can feel that oblique more, I hope you can. Let's take it one more time, out, out, in, in. One more time, left side. Then this Tabata's done, I told you. Here we go, out, out, in, in. You can run it, or out, in, out, in. Stay low either way. Yes, team. Five more seconds here. Then side knee. Three, two, one. Last time right here. Again, I want you to really feel it. So core engage. Zip it up. Really get that oblique. In three, two, one. Right here. Power it up. Find that intensity for you because this is it. We got 10 more seconds. Maybe you're getting a little more contraction. Again, maybe you're going speed. Maybe you're going jump. Whatever it is for you. Power through for three, two, one. Ah. Woo. Little reach across, right? Feeling that? Yes. I know I am. Let's grab some water, team. We got one minute to breathe. How's that heart rate? Hopefully staying up, and again, it doesn't matter if it's not, if you're tracking with your watch, you don't have to be in those high zones. We're getting that throughout, especially in those 20 second intervals. We want that recovery. Right? And then, woo! Watch that, Matt. I know that was all me, because I was dragging my feet like a moonwalk. All right, so we're going into that third round skater. So it's a skater slam. I want you to imagine you have a medicine ball or something you can slam. Slam, slam. You can just tap cross behind, or you can jump. So think of your speed skater. Think of your rainbow slam. We're putting the two together. Then we're going to do a little tap down as you come up, twist, come up, twist. It could look like this, or you can tap it. Let's start with that rainbow slam. First 20 seconds in three, two, one. Slam it, slam it. So what I want is, yes, I want the power from the skater, which is going lateral motion, right? Side to side into those hips. But I want you to imagine you're slamming a medicine ball or a sandbag, whatever it is for you. Because that's where we get power in our core. Twist and twist, relax. Even if you don't want to get that full rotation, just get the power going down, that gets that core working. All right, team, tap it down. Here we go. 
tap, you can twist just tapping it in. Or here. Whatever it is for you, little rotation. I know we're getting a lot of this rotational core today. So find what is good for you. Three, two, one. All right, both of those, exactly the same. No right side, left side. We gotta do them three more times. All right, starting with our rainbow skater or skater slam. Here we go. Slam. Again, focus on that power. Up, down, up, down. Side to side, into that hip. Yes, I would love for you to get low, but those legs are working either way. Keep it moving. Three, two, breathe. Yes. Right. All right, touch it down and either twist, coming up with a tap, or with a jump. Three, two, one. Tap, twist. So look, your arms are going one way, your knees are going the other way. Not so different than our twists like this, right? Don't overthink it. Let's just get it done. Breathe. Breathe. Three, two, one. Halfway through. Two more rounds of each. Two minutes, even less. 20, 20, 20, 20. So we got four rounds of 20 seconds. Let's do it. Slam. Sometimes it's helpful to think of the overall, like we have two more minutes, that's nothing. But sometimes it's helpful to think, oh, we just gotta get through 20 seconds, four times. What sounds harder for you? Everybody's brain is a little bit different. Slam, slam, and how they interpret that, relax. Ah, I know from working with so many of clients and groups over the years, everybody's different in what they wanna hear. All right, one more time, touch it down. Here we go, touch, twist, touch, Twist, breathe, yes you can. I know, a little leg burn too on this one. That's okay, we got a little upper body in that first round, a little more lower here. One more time of each, our rainbow slam, no, our skater slam for 20, touchdown, twist, three, two, one, here we go. Yes, you can, I know. Breathe, ha. Yes, slam it. Three, two, one. This is it, last one right here. Touch it down, twist it up. Torso goes one way, hips go the other way. Get that core working hard. Three, two, one. Breathe. Can you get a little lower? Get those legs working. A little lower body burn, which is gonna increase that overall burn, right? Lots of energy required for that squat motion. Three, two, one. Ha, ah, I know, woo. Yes, feeling it? I know I am, ha. Ah. All right, team, so right here, grab some water. Here's what we got, team. This round, we are going to split up and down. You have the option to take your second two rounds down on the mat. But you don't have to. All right, so up to you if you want. Right here, first two rounds. We're gonna do a standing climber, right? You can even travel it. And then we're doing a standing bicycle, side to side, right? Rounds one, rounds two. Then, if you want to join me down here, climber, then we've got our actual bicycle. So a little bit of mobility work, a little bit of forward and back. That is good for our spine, for our mobility, for our flexibility to have to go from front to back. But you do what's best for you. If you want to keep it all standing, keep it all standing. We'll all stand for the first half. So stand and climber. Let's do it. Pow. So this can look a million different ways. You can just drive the knees to the chest in a march. You can hop it. You can travel it. Climb to the side. But bring those knees up either way. Whatever it is you're doing, I want the knees coming up. Three, two, one. So that was straight in. Now we're gonna get that rotation. Rotation. So actually, hands behind the head. Here we go. 
You can keep it small, or you can power it up right here. Either way, it's not just this, right? I actually want the core work. Like I said, we're getting a lot of obliques and a lot of internal core work and standing core work. Relax. All right, one more each of those. So standing climber, standing bicycle. Then we'll give you a little bit longer transition. Here we go. We'll give you a few more seconds to get down to the mat. Drive those knees to the chest. Core. You want to take it to the side. Traveling climber. You can. Also agility, right? Getting it all in. Three, two, one. Right here. Hands behind. Cross. Cross. That's what we got. Woo! Feeling those hip flexors and quads. Let's do it. Here we go. Cross. You can keep it slow and low impact. You can go a little quicker and cross body. A little bit jump if you want. Yes, team. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, team, so you can keep it standing. You can do exactly what we just did two more times. Otherwise, join me here. We're doing our climber here. We're doing our bicycle on our back, all right? So you can join me down on the mat. I'm gonna give you a few extra seconds to get down there. Climber, let's get in that plank position. Three, two, one. Drive them in. Remember what I always say with this climber. I want you to focus on bringing the knees to the chest and maintaining good form, not speed. You can pick up your speed if you want, but not at the sacrifice of form. Keep the hips lifted, little pelvic tilt, shoulders and elbows right above the wrist and relax. If you're standing, keep it standing. Take it to that cross standing bicycle. Otherwise, we're gonna take it here, zip it up. I want you to get that nice good form, pull everything in, stop the ribs and the hips. Here we go. Yes. Right through here, not too fast. I know those quads and hip flexors are tired, so I really want you to think about the motion coming from here. This one's gonna be a burner, but you can do it. Three, two, and one. Hug the knees in. One more time of each, standing or mat, climber, and three, two, ha. Take it here, take it here. Yes, you can. Drive them in. I know. Whoo. <laughs> Stay lifted. I'm feeling it. I hope you are too. Whew. Knees to the chest. Core on fire. Three, two, one. <sighs> Last time with our bicycle here. All right, team. Take it down. Yes, you can. Catch your breath. Wrap that core. Core creating the movement. Here we go. Again, I really want you to think, especially as we get tired here, not to just let everything go, to really reconnect and keep it going. This is it, team. End of this round. Last five, four, three, two, one. Ha, ah, hug those knees in. Up onto your feet, team. How about one more little bonus round? It's a half to bottom round. Bring it up. Give yourself a little stretch through those hip flexors right here. All right, we're up onto our feet. We have four rounds of 20 seconds, and it's all the same move, all right? So it's a half Tabata and one move. This move has two parts. Watch me here. We get cardio. We're gonna shuffle, all right? Your shuffle can be quick feet, or it can be a double step, or anything in between. Then, if you want, you're gonna pop it back for two plank jacks, then pop it in. Shuffle. Pop it back, two plank jacks. If you don't wanna go back to the plank, you can do two jacks here and shuffle. But this way we get cardio and core together, four rounds of the same move, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, then that is it. So go for it, team. Let's start on one side. Shuffle, two plank jacks. Here we go. Shuffle, pop it back, jacks, jacks. Pop it in. Take it back. Bonus, half Tabata. Pop it in. Remember, you can step it if you want and walk it back. Tap, tap, and relax. All right, so that's about it. We'll get about three, maybe two, maybe four each time. Three more rounds of that. Let's do it in three, two, one. 
shuffle. Pop it back, strong core. Two, jacks, bring it up, back up. Strong core, two, jacks, hup, woo! Yes, team, two jacks. Walk it up, hold it here. Two more rounds, then that's it. Two rounds of 20 seconds is all we need. How about we start here? Let's do it. Three, two, one, shuffle, quick feet. Walk it back or pop it back. Tap it in, walk it in, up to you. Or if you want, two jacks, take it back. Breathe, and here. Yes, team, one more round. Last 20, what do you got? Do you wanna just do all the shuffle? Do you wanna just all do plank jacks? I'm gonna do plank jacks. You pick, last 20 seconds, you can shuffle, take it back. You can do all plank jacks with me, you can do all shuffles, you can rest. Up to you, in three, two, one. Here we go, take it out and in. Soft knees, strong core. What do you got, team? Hang with me for 10 more seconds. As you get tired, I want you to really focus in on that core and that form. Every muscle working, breathing through it for three, two, one. <sighs> Slowly bring it up. Tap it out right here. Yes. Yes, you can. And yes, you did. Shake it out right here. Ooh. Let's let that heart rate come down. <sighs> Grab some water, team. I know, that's it, I promise. No more bonus after that. That was your bonus to bottom around. Cheers, y'all. Hope you're feeling all that good energy. Tired energy, right? A little muscle burn. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really feeling my quads and my core, right? A little bit of arms, especially in those first couple rounds, too. I think a lot of it was the workout I did yesterday. That's why it's good to get moving, but also because we were focused on a lot of different things, cardio and core, but everything was working. Let's take it up right here. We're gonna keep this cool down pretty short so we can get you in and out, keeping this a short cardio day. But let me know in the comments what you thought. Did you feel your abs working? Did you feel your heart rate get up? Did you feel those intervals, those heart rate zones? Did you feel a little lower and upper as well? I know I did. Woo, let's take it out right here. Roll those shoulders. Let me know in the comments. Leave me a like. Don't forget to subscribe on the YouTube channel as well as check us out on the BodyFit by Amy app. If you're not there already, join us in the BodyFit Athletic Club. Lots of fun things happening over there. Right here. Let's get a little hamstring stretch and through your back. If you need to grab another wall, you can. Hips to the back, lean into it here. Whew. And of course, check out all the links in the description below. Would love uh, to have you get on that mailing list to get your free calendars if you're not there already. Free workout calendars in your inbox every month. Weekly links before they're released to the public. And again, all the fun things we have happening in the BodyFit Athletic Club. If you're not already there, that is the place to be. Whew. Shake out those quads. Maybe get a little quad stretch on your own. Please get some more mobility and flexibility work on your own. <sighs> Hands on your heart, hand on your belly. Thank your body for showing up for you today. Thank you, body. You can say it out loud. I know it's weird, but do it. <sighs> and let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your cardio core Tabata workout. Great job, everybody.